And Anoka woman is raising awareness of a crime most of us wouldn't think happens here in our community. Bukala Oriola is a survivor of human trafficking and says unlike victims who receive physical torture, it is hard to tell who has endured the pain of mental and emotional abuse. She recently founded her own nonprofit organization and this week shared her story of survival with CTN's Bao Vang. Bao? Steve, in Nigeria, Bukola Oriola was a journalist covering some of her community's top news stories. Little did she know her life would make headlines, shocking her friends and family. In 2005, Bukola Oriola made plans to meet her husband for the first time. She was visiting from Nigeria. He was living in Brooklyn Park. She said they had talked on the phone for a year and were even traditionally married in a ceremony where the presence of the groom wasn't necessary. Once she arrived in Minnesota, he convinced her to stay, promising happiness. Instead, he moved them to a brand new home in rural Ramsey, where she said she was kept in isolation. I didn't feel like I was living in a brand new house. Instead, I felt like I was living in prison. Over the next two years, Bukola got pregnant, delivered a boy, and became her husband's slave and a victim of sexual assault, labor trafficking, and domestic abuse. I became depressed to the point where when I look in the mirror, I don't see myself. She said she endured the most pain when her husband neglected their child, Samuel, now seven years old. The child crawled after him and he just walked past him and the child was crying, you know. I could not imagine somebody, someone else's child, not mine, but someone else's child crying for my attention. In her memoir, Imprisoned, she writes her son was who saved her. In 2007, they escaped. Now, nine years since the torture first began, the person looking back in the mirror is no longer a victim, but she says a survivor. I see Bukola. And I'm grateful to God that today I can recognize myself again. Bukola now dedicates her life to helping others. She started a nonprofit organization called the Enaton Story. Enaton meaning someone with a story. It is to raise awareness about human trafficking and to provide services and resources for victims. Steve? Bao thanks. The Eniton Story is hosting its first ever fundraiser this weekend. It will take place on Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. at the United Methodist Church in Anoka. The event includes food tasting and live music. To learn more about Bukola and the Eniton Story, log on to the nonprofit's website.